Hi guys, welcome to Lexa YouTube channel. My name is Ram Mishra and I am your online instructor. So what's in this video? In this video, I will tell you how to install Jenkins using Docker. So guys, let's begin the topic. But before start the lab session, we have to understand few points, which is what is Jenkins and its use cases. Jenkins is popular open source tool for automating software. Dockers allow you to run Jenkins in containerized environment, making it easier development process and using Docker to install Jenkins has become a popular choice for many developers to manage and scale your Jenkins instances. So let's begin the lab session and we'll see how we can set up Jenkins in Docker environment. As you can see, this is my VimWare workstation and here I have one Linux virtual machine, right? Let me show you the OS release version of this Linux box first. So if I go with cat etc etc red hat release so you can see that currently i am using rel 9.0 okay let me check the ip address of this machine also so i can go if config my current ip is 192.168.0.128 right and internet connectivity is there so let me check yes i'm able to communicate with the gmail so here i'm going to install jenkins using docker if we talk about the pre-request, we need a system with Docker installed. So you can download Docker from official website or I have already shared a video in my Docker playlist where I have mentioned how to install Docker in Linux. You can follow these steps and install the Docker properly. So if I go back and Linux R, this is my YouTube channel. And inside here, if you go with the Docker series, the first one is install Docker container on Linux, right? So for time saving purpose, I have already installed a Docker. You can see the Docker version using Docker hyphen hyphen version command. Docker is successfully installed here. Now let's start the first step, which is pull the Jenkins image. The first step is installing Jenkins using Docker is to pull the Jenkins image from Docker Hub. You can do this by running Docker pull and image name is Jenkins slash Jenkins. Press enter using default tag that is latest one. So this will download the latest version of Jenkins image from the Docker Hub. This will take some time. So just wait and let it be download first. So you can see that current claim is started. Okay, now you can see images successfully downloaded. We can verify the available image using Docker images command. So Jenkins latest tag, image ID, and created and size is there. Now move to the next step, start the Jenkins container. So once you have the Jenkins image, you can start the container using Docker run command. So let me create a directory first, mkdir slash data. And this is used for mount the host volume, right? Now let's create the Jenkins container. Docker run hyphen D detach mode hyphen hyphen name. Container name is Jenkins. You can go with anyone hyphen port 8181 colon 8080. 
hyphen v volume data slash Jenkins capital Z then Jenkins slash Jenkins that's it so let me press enter and I will try to explain every term docker run command uh, run a container name using Jenkins and this in this command hyphen p option map the port 8181 on the host to the port 8080 in the container hyphen v option map the host directory slash data to the container directory slash Jenkins with the Cdenx capital Z permissions allowed which is used to store the Jenkins data we can check container status using docker ts command so now you can see that Jenkins container is in up and running and just 30 seconds ago or 28 seconds right container is ready now move to the next step access the Jenkins dashboard once the Jenkins container is up and running now you can access the Jenkins dashboard by visiting http colon localhost or ip address or 8181 right so you will be prompt to enter the password which you can find in the Jenkins log so let me hit it from my browser 192 168 60.28 128 colon 8181 once I press enter let's see what happened let me verify the IP address of the machine one more time that is 60.128 okay 192 168 60.128 8181 the port here's the screen login screen please wait while Jenkins is getting ready to work right so just wait let the page load first So tell what I'm going to do I'll check docker logs right so I can say docker logs and container ID or container name so in my case that's my container name is Jenkins so once I press enter Jenkins setup is required and admin user has created and the password generated please use the following password to proceed the installation so I need this password to complete the setup so let me copy it from here and this is also found inside this location right go back here and once it will prompt for the password I will paste this password so just wait let them complete first Let me check the status one more time. Yeah, it's up, up and running condition. One Yeah. so finally to ensure Jenkins secure setup and administrator password be required so let me copy the paste whatever the password I have copied from here uh, one more time copy and paste oh, it's not successfully copy let me copy this one more time copy paste click on continue 
Okay, customize Jenkins. Please extract Jenkins uh, with additional feature to support many different needs. Install suggest plugin. So now click on the install suggest plugin to install uh, the plugin suggested by the Docker. Or we can customize our setup plugin. Even we can close this option and later we can also update these plugins from Jenkins dashboard. But for the better performance, go with the install suggest plugin and install it. So I just start it. So it will take some time. So let me pause the recording. Once it completes successfully, I'll continue again. Okay. So it's going to be completed. Just wait. Yep. Hopefully all done. These are the important plugins. Okay, finally, I got the message getting started. See, all plugins stop successfully. Now you can either create an admin user or skip and continue as admin based on your need. For this demo, I'm creating a username Bob, right? So this is acting as administrator user, Bob, password is Red Hat, address will be free. You can give whatever you want. Say, full name, Bob. And email ID is Bob, right, gmail.com. Save and continue. This is the URL, save and finish. Jenkins is ready. Start using Jenkins. So now you can see that we have successfully installed Jenkins. And finally, we will get my dashboard. So this is the dashboard of Bob user account, right? We can log out, log it from here. Here's the dashboard. You can change the password from config views. And if you want to go for the plugins, click on the manage Jenkins. And here you will find out Jenkins options and you can do the uh, manage the settings like system, tools, plugins, node, cloud, and number of things are there. Right credentials are there, user settings are there, logs are there. Uh, uh, more, most probably important is plugins, add to and the stable enable the plugins from here. Right? So this is successfully we have installed. We can log out from here and again log in with username and password. Now move to the last and final step, which is running the Docker image as service. As a production uh, instance of Jenkins must be automatically restarted when the underlying operating system is started, right? So however, this is not default behavior of container. You have launched using Docker command. Uh, command. So any Jenkins container will remain stopped after your OS restarted, right? To resolve this issue, what we can do, we can create, uh, we can run our Docker container as a systemd service. This allows you to manage a Jenkins container in much the same way you would message a Jenkins instance installed with the package manager, right? So let me create a systemd service for Jenkins container. So I'm logging. So now currently you can see that Docker PS, my Jenkins is up and running condition. But the default behavior is that if I reboot my host machine, this Jenkins container will be automatically stopped. I need to manually sit and start this container again, right? So now I'm going to create a new system service and that location will be etc system d system right here we need to create that one so i'll give the name name could be anything but it should be good so i have a file name here it's a docker.jenkins.server you can go with any name it's not a big deal but the extension should be dot service right and let me write down copy paste content from here and then i will explain each and every line let me copy paste it properly and save it right so the unit part describe the basic information of the unit like metadata and field of description gives a brief description of the unit that is my jenkins server then i have after and requires the container is clearly dependent on having uh, docker running so hence the requires line and the after line is also needed to avoid the race condition right the service part is used to customize action and system they provide many fields so we have used time out start second is equal to zero to turn off the timeouts as the docker pull may take a while and by default systemd does not restart your service if the program exists for whatever reason so this is usually not what we want for a service that must be always available so we are 
restricting it to the always restart on exist by restart always then exec start the command to be executed by the system ctl to start your jenkins container and finally the install section as the name says handle the installation of system d service unit file which is wanted by my multi user target right so uh, just save and quit from here and reload the daemon system ctl daemon reload and if everything is fine what we can do system ctl enable docker jenkins docker jenkins service hyphen hyphen now perfect so now currently you can see that my system is dry my jenkins container is ready let it be reboot after the reboot my machine definitely i'll got back my container is in up and running condition so let it be reboot So just start it, let it be start. Then we will verify and confirm. So I have rebooted the machine. We will see as soon as host machine available. My Jenkins container is automatic available. We don't need to manually start the service, right? Okay, it's coming up. Let me log in with root account. So here's the terminal. Let me run docker ps command. Should be up and running condition. Yeah, guys, you can see that it's up, right? And even the service is still available. So we can refresh the web page, we can get the same environment, right? So installing Jenkins using Docker is a great way to run Jenkins in containerized environment, making it easier to manage and scale your Jenkins runs by following the steps. You should be able to install Jenkins using Docker in no time, right? So guys, that's all about the demo. We have successfully set up the Jenkins into the Docker container. Finally, this is the end of this topic. Hopefully you enjoyed and learned new things. Soon I will come up with another new interesting topic. Till then keep practicing. If you feel something I have missed or you wanted to know more something else, please reach out to me through my social media links, which is mentioned in the description. And if you like this video, please do not forget to like, share and subscribe my channel and press the bell icon button for the latest update. Those who don't know how to install the Docker, please go through this recording first then Go with this one stored docker container on linux thanks for watching stay safe and goodbye